Hi guys, welcome to Simproof, Try speaking here and welcome back to another Let's Build Together the Castle and I know that a lot of you guys have already asked where is another castle episode and I'm really really sorry guys but I had a major PC crash and sadly the whole castle got deleted and also did the video and well I couldn't retrieve it, it didn't get deleted so at the end I could retrieve it from the old um, saving card thing. I don't know how it's called in German, in English. I know how it's called in German. And yeah, I got it back. So this is the old recording from way back. I don't even know from Rem, but I can remember that we did this special part here in a live stream. So if you want to see it as a real let's build with my, you know, me talking about it, I will link everything you need to know about that in the video description. Also, you can click the little eye icon in the upper right corner right now. So yeah, if you're more into let's builds and slower videos, then uh, there's that for you. So yeah, <laughs> it has been quite a while and uh, I can remember that in the last video because you guys you can always you know write what you want to see in that castle and what I have to add and what kind of cool rooms you want to have and so on all these uh, things and I try to implement that. So in this episode we're going to do the kitchen and the dungeon and I've already done some minimal changes to the already existing build so the last time we did the throne room I guess so in the throne room there are like more of these guards this knight armor guards this I guess it's like a statue from The Sims 4 so there are more of them because you guys wanted to have more of them and also I changed a little thing with the balcony so the little lion dog statues are on the other side of the balcony and so on so I've already switched that if you guys have another great ideas for this kitchen for example you can write it in the comments and I will try to implement them in the next video so here we go you can see that the kitchen is in the downstairs area there will be two downstairs areas, so you can have a max of two basement floors I would say in The Sims 4 and this is like the first level and even deeper there's the dungeon of course because you guys all wanted a dungeon you've already <laughs> wrote me so many comments about we want the dungeon where's the dungeon and yeah you get a dungeon of course but first we need you know some food and some supplies for your our sims living there so we definitely needed a kitchen so the kitchen has a little window even though it's in the basement um it has like this light shaft or like this light tunnel of light uh, from above and there's also a little stairs outside of the kitchen door where your sims can go outside and maybe I, later i will add a little herb garden or you know where they can grow their vegetables and their fruits and so on so they really have like something they can grow their own crops or own little things that they need for the kitchen as a supply so yeah and definitely i wanted to have a big chimney or like a big fireplace i know it's called it a fireplace but i always say chimney i don't know why <laughs> i guess i just like the english word of a chimney but i know that the chimney is the thing on top i'm sorry but yeah it has of course a fireplace and at the end in the fireplace i will put the spooky stuff cauldron in there because when you have this pack spooky stuff there's this big witch cauldron and I thought it looks amazing and would be absolutely perfect for this so they are going to have this cauldron also stacked into the not the chimney the fireplace fry come on get your shit together but yeah in the fireplace so yeah I hope you like it guys and then in the middle I wanted to have like a really big kitchen island and I placed like lots and lots of bar stools in there so the kitchen staff and you know all the servants can come down there and eat there together I guess that's something pretty common um, in these kind of huge builds I guess that the servants all eat together I mean in Downton Abbey they do and I've seen a lot of these medieval fairy tale movies and they do there too so I just assumed they do so yeah, yeah a lot of um, bar stools so they can sit there and, and at the end I will go crazy with all the knickknacks that we have in the Sims 4 games the debug mode was a very very big savior here I can highly recommend you to use the debug mode and these 
kind of builds because you can access all the hidden objects that there are in the game, like all the fish you can catch, all the crystals you can collect, and you know, all the frogs and all that stuff, everything they can create on the workbench and so on, you can access right there and put them in the game. So this is really, really, really cool and super easy then because I don't have to go into my so much hated play mode and get it. I just have to cheat it a little bit. So this is always quite fun. And I can remember that a lot of you guys wanted to have these really big pot hanging things where all the pots and pans are on uh, that hang from the ceiling and you wanted that in the kitchen because it really suits the whole medieval theme. I did that here too over the kitchen island there, of course. In one corner I put, I would say it's like a normal kitchen just in a medieval style and then on the other corner there are just some a couple of cupboards and you know some barrels and so on so this could be like a little bit of the storage area for all the supplies they have i just thought it would be a cool thing and would suit the whole yeah medieval theme here and yeah i hope you like it guys so I used lots and lots of the wallpaper that we already used outside, which is the get together timber framing wallpaper. I mixed it a little bit with the brick and cobblestone wallpaper and so on to make it much more interesting. And I also thought that like this, it looks a little bit more detailed and yeah, realistic, I would say, because usually these old castles and so on, they really have some different, how's it called? Like the static is a little bit different and you really have to see that like the whole ceiling is not coming down on them and the whole castle crashes together so you have like some wooden I guess it's like called beams or something that are shaped in another way so yeah it's uh, like it lifts up the ceiling and so on so yeah that's what I was imagining here too maybe it looks a little bit messy but this is how I imagined a medieval kitchen looks like and I hope that the guys that wanted the kitchen so so much and wanted to see it so soon that you guys like it too write me in the comments what I have to do better here or what you really want to see in the game or like in this build maybe I've missed something I also have to say because this is like a really Really old recording that I don't use I didn't use like the dine out stuff for example because this was recorded way 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 before the dine out stuff came out so maybe this would have been like in some ways I mean let's think about I guess they're just like very modern things are there very medieval looking objects in there? I don't know, but yeah, write it in the comments if you know. Maybe I've missed something, then we can, you know, add them later. And now talking about it, I can remember that there is also another flaw because this castle has been in my game for about, yeah, since we started. And now that the PC crashed, actually the castle is gone. Throughout my builds i've uploaded different versions of the castle onto the gallery and i've checked like the last castle update i did was part three and that was the part before this kitchen and dungeon got added so i have a big problem now because i don't have this castle on my pc but i was that intelligent to get me the saves folder from my old game and now that i've installed the sims newly on my new system on it's not a new pc but i got like a new system with a new windows and all that stuff so i've never done this so i really need your help guys i have a folder that says saves for my old sims 4 game and everybody i've asked has told me that this should actually have the castle like it is on my old game so is it possible that if I just copy my, this saves folder onto my now or new newer saves folder do I just have to put the saves folder in there or just do I have to um, switch it this is the only question I just want my castle back and I hope I hope I hope that I get it back because otherwise I have to do the kitchen and the dungeon again which would be a bummer because I can remember it to be like a really long stream I don't know but maybe two three hours or so so yeah yeah I just hope it will work <laughs> please yeah so please guys if you are using lots and lots of CC I know that the guys who always like to download stuff for The Sims 4 they are pretty good with all the folder managing stuff 
from the game. I usually, well, I never, I never ever use downloads in The Sims 4 here, so I'm really inexperienced about all that stuff. So yeah, <laughs> guys, just, you know, write it in the comments how I'm going to do this. So I've already looked up in the internet and everyone's is saying like, you just have to, you know, switch the folders. If you have like the old saves folder, just put it in there and you have basically the, your old game back. So I hope that this will work because uh, otherwise I really have to do it all again and I just don't want to do it all again. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, you could see me that your sims can go... If you're up front from the castle, you have to go to the left and there's a little entrance. I just thought this is like perfect for the servant entrance and there they can go downstairs, like there's a hallway and then they can go downstairs and there they can get to the kitchen. So yeah, this is the basic idea here. I also made a door to the other way, you know, not into the courtyard, to the backyard or like the outside of the castle. So there will be maybe the herb garden or vegetable garden or whatever. I we still have to think about what we're going to put there and then on the second floor in the basement I will put a little dungeon there so the first idea was just you know a straight big stairs downstairs then some cells to the left and the right and then maybe behind the stairs I'm going to put like a torture chamber I don't know I can remember that some of you guys wanted the torture chamber so this is going to happen here guys we're so so stoked because since I've done the serial killer basement I, I was like I really have to do something evil again <laughs> something that is a little bit macabre and a little bit gory maybe or scary or spooky so this would be really, really cool to make like a nice torture chamber, but I still haven't figured out what kind of objects we're going to use for, you know, to, to make it look like some torturing devices or yeah, however it's called in English. But yeah, this would be really, really cool. I'm so, so looking forward to the torture chamber. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> I absolutely love it. So yeah, um, the cells are basically, yeah, just really basic. I use the, I guess it's like a get together brick, brick stone wallpaper it looks like sandstone a little bit so I use that and then I use some of the ruin ruins pieces or like these old looking brick stone pieces you know with some columns and some broken stairs and so on I just thought it looks really really cool to make it look really old and much older than the whole castle because usually you know these castles are built upon even older structures so this is something that I would uh, wanted to implement here and this is why it looks pretty basic. I still don't know what else I have to add here because there's basically just some of these brick things and these columns and so on and there are also some benches that look like just you know a couple of yeah stones and so on but their sims can really take a nap there or sit there so this is really working. Then I use some chandeliers we, you know guys that are, we are only going to use some chandeliers and all that stuff to make it look even more medieval and suiting for this whole theme you know no, no technology and no TV and so on and also I didn't want to have the cells you know to be very comfortable I mean that wouldn't make any sense so then I used from the spooky stuff pack some of the cobwebs and also I will place some spiders in there because you know the cell mates need some they need some entertainment, maybe they have them as pets and so on and can trade them like the void critters from the new pack. So <laughs> this would be cool, like some illegal spider battles in the cells. <laughs> I guess it would be really, really cool if this would even be possible. But yeah, that would be cool. I just imagine it. And yeah, that's basically it. So I hope you like it, guys. That's the whole castle build, the kitchen and the dungeon so far. Please write me in the comments what I have to add to the kitchen or the dungeon even more. The dungeon is like a big problem since I really don't know what to add to the cells. I think they look a little bit too uncluttered and you know I like my clutter. And yeah, write me what kind of rooms you want to see next. Maybe you go even outside and do like the herb garden and so on. So yeah, it's all up to you. We are building this together. Yeah, that's basically it. So I hope you like it, guys. Enjoy the screenshots and I will see you soon. Bye bye.